Hi, my name is Mads. I'm part of the team at Cohere, and I'd like to talk to you a bit about a project that we've been working on recently. This is Conversant. It's an open source library that we created to make it easier to build chatbots on top of Cohere's API. So on the left, we have an app that gives a little demo of what Conversant can do. One thing that's interesting and a bit different about Conversant is it makes it really easy for you to create additional chatbot personas. So rather than having just a helpful digital assistant, you can explore these different roles and purposes that a chatbot can fulfill. Some of them are a bit more practical, such as a watch sales agent or client support. Some are a bit more fantastical, such as a fantasy wizard. And use that one as a demonstration. And what the model is doing is, based on the description of the fantasy wizard and a few rounds of conversation, it's then going to generate a greeting. So, what traveler, what is thy purpose? Um, and I can give some sort of response, like, I learn magic. And then that response is going to get given essentially back to the model, which it will then use to come up with the next round of conversation and the reply of uh, such powers are not to be meddled with lightly. So if you'd like to experiment with this, you can certainly do so. We have this app also hosted at conversant.streamlit.app. But if you want to go beyond these preset personas that we have and actually try building one of your own, that's also actually pretty straightforward. So I'll pop over to what the config files look like. So this is for the fantasy wizard that we were just talking to. And this is actually the entire background of what you need to set up and configure that personality. So you have, like I said, a description and here are a few example rounds of conversation. Although as a note, you actually don't need the example rounds of conversation. It will work with just the description, but in general, it, if you want something that's really on brand and matching what you're kind of imagining, the, the conversation can be helpful. So then within this personas directory, each individual persona has their own, uh, own folder and within that a config.json file. So let's say I want to create a new one. I'm going to make a personal stylist because sometimes you have a new garment and you're trying to figure out how to style it, new ways of wearing it. And I think it'd be quite cool if a bot could help with that. Maybe you could even incorporate some image processing or image models as well. Uh, later on down the line, that could be quite cool. We don't have that capability yet, but who knows? Maybe one day. So then within that, that folder, we're going to create this config file. And then uh, what we could do is we could go to the fantasy wizard and copy this over and then edit the description and example turns accordingly. But today I'm going to cheat. I actually have it already written. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite similar. If I were to do this from scratch, it wouldn't take me too long. Drop that in here and save it. And then we just need to rerun the app. And now if we look at the choose a chatbot persona, we have this personal stylist, uh, which is pretty cool. So you don't even need to write any code. You just need to make a config file. Um, and now it comes up with, hi, can I help you? And then you've already seen a bit of what, what this conversation looks like. So I'm not going to take you through that again, but the, the sort of important point here is that it was actually quite easy for me to spin this up and create a new persona. And that was one of our goals in creating this, that we wanted to make it easy for other people to do that as well. So if you feel so inclined to spin up a new persona of your own, we'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, we were really trying to democratize the creation of new ideas and notions about what roles a dialogue agent uh, can fulfill. So let us know, drop into our community Discord, share, share your work, share your chatbots, uh, and we'd love to see where you go. Thank you so much.